Hello everybody, I'm really delighted to be here. My name is Professor Quentin Andrew Parker and I'm the Director of the Laboratory for Space Research at the University of Hong Kong and in the Department of Physics. And I'm here today to talk about the Laboratory for Space Research. It's an interdisciplinary entity within the Faculty of Science. That is to say, it covers all sorts of different areas that are interconnected together and where synergies emerge through partnerships across these different disciplines. We have people in space science, high energy physics, astrophysics, planetary sciences, remote sensing, space weather, uh, computing sciences, all of these people, even engineers working with us on our CubeSat missions. We all work together as a free association of like-minded individuals and scientists that come together for a common purpose. One of our purposes is STEM education. We're all at university, we all have students, we're all teaching. And so we're very excited to be part of the Laboratory for Space Research, which has a mission to engage principally with space activities around the world globally. We have partners with Pad of Assistance in Italy, the uh, Natural History Museum uh, in London, and around the world with many partners, particularly now in the mainland of China, like Abysme and CSU and ASUS and DFH and all these companies we're working with. And so don't people think in Hong Kong there's nothing going on with space science here? There is. We have our universities engaged now, Laboratory for Space Research at Hong Kong, and these OASA and Hong Kong Aerospace Technology Group too. So why bother getting involved in space activities and space science and the space economy here in Hong Kong? Well, Hong Kong is a global city. It's very powerful in, in fintech. We have wonderful young people here, very bright people that are getting engaged in high technologies, robotics, AI, big data, data analytics, and all of these are relevant. So the future is bright and the future is out there in space. And that's what I want the young minds that might be listening to me to think of. STEM, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. You know, the world is your oyster. It's not, it's space is now your oyster. As the economy grows and as the space economy turns into a one trillion dollar enterprise in the next decade, the young people of Hong Kong can get on board through things like OASA, Hong Kong uh, Aerospace Technology Group, the universities and other companies that are growing up through startups and get involved in this very exciting future for our city. I'm very proud to support the Hong Kong Laureate Forum. It's all about science. Let's get engaged.